people are amazed when they see this. They, they haven't seen anything like it before and they just say, it doesn't look real. <laughs> and uh, just amazed that we could do that, that we could lift a building up with, uh, with the piles like that. This building has stood for over 130 years, so that's testament in itself that it was a great site. And uh, we've been able to see the foundation as we excavated, and it was, it was beautiful. For what they had, they did a great job. We put the temple on stilts so that we could build a basement underneath it. We're building two levels of basement underneath the tabernacle section. It's kind of an exciting once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to lift a historic building like this. We, we actually haven't moved the building. We're doing all we can to keep it where it is. It'll be beautiful, beautiful basement here. We started by uh, uh, shoring up the building, putting in the piles to hold up the building, and then excavating down. It's an extensive process that involves engineers, architects, contractors, input from many, many professionals who have great skills and abilities in this area. It's an honor to work with them. This is a very complicated project. Holding up uh, 6,800,000 pounds of building in the air. I have a great team that we work with regularly as we see issues and we work through them. There's a confidence here that we're going to get it done and it's going to be great. The Provo Tabernacle is, has been centered to Provo for over 100 years. The people of Provo have, have used it in many different facets and for, given the opportunity to preserve what's left and do our best to, to preserve it and repurpose it into a temple is a very special opportunity.